happens. You just, you feel like you're alone and you feel like it's only you and you're in your bubble. And, and I wish I had someone at that time who, who could just pull me aside and hey, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. So I wish I knew that. Just gotta remember, hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Have faith. And on the other side of your pain is something good. After about a month and a half of staying in that little apartment and cleaning, I got a phone call from the head coach of the team who cut me, the head coach of the Calgary Stampeders. He called me and he said, hey, I know we cut you, but I'd like you to come back. I said, okay, I appreciate that, coach. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll think about it. And he said, okay, great. I hung up the phone and um, my dad said, you're going to do it, right? I said, no, I don't think so. I think I'm done with that. And he goes, what? I said, my gut tells me I'm done. He said, what are you going to do? I took a deep breath. I said, I'd like to get into the business. He said, what business? I said, the wrestling business. He says, you are throwing it all away. It is the worst mistake you will ever make. He said, you're ruining your career. I said, maybe I'll be no good. But I feel like in my heart, I have to do this. 